girls and ladies is it possible to complete your learning while doing household work yes i am telling it's possible so let's learn with me while washing the utensils yes so let's start yes so what we will study now we can do computer architecture from computer architecture we can start from computer architecture we will go to operating system then we can go networking also then we can do dbms also software engineering also so tell me in computer architecture in computer organization how many memories are there primary memory secondary memory what are the primary memory which one is primary memory is it volatile or non volatile yes primary memory there is ram and rom right and after ram rom next one what is secondary memory ram and rom both are volatile or non volatile tell me ram is volatile random access memory that is a volatile memory but rom rom is non volatile memory what we are storing in rom we are storing the uh, when, whenever we are starting the any system means when you log in the system when you start up your computer at that time whatever is required to start your machine then it's required rom right yes that's why rom is non volatile but both are primary memory secondary memory secondary memory is your hard disk acha in between primary memory and secondary memory is there any other memory yes there is another memory also that is cache what is the purpose of cache memory purpose of cache memory is that whenever cpu is asking for something then cpu speed is very high so cpu cannot interact with secondary memory too fast because secondary memory speed is very low that's why in between cache memory is there and what we are storing in cache memory whatever frequently used whatever uh, some uh, program some process whatever we are using frequently means cpu is asking frequently that type of process can be stored in cache so that it will be very quickly there will be cache it and computer can get it right so now where is register register is faster than cache or cache is more faster don't do that mistake because last year question was there right ki which one is more faster register or cache no register is faster than cache because register where it store it store inside the motherboard actually where the register register is inside the motherboard and what we can store in register register there are two types of register actually the general purpose register and the special purpose register special purpose register for only computer purpose only means whatever uh, like alu and arithmetic logic operation whatever you are doing for that they are using accumulator mainly we are storing everything in accumulator program counter register stack register stack pointer instruction register these are the special purpose register what computer can only use any human cannot use that and what are the general purpose register like in 8085 there are some bc pair d pair hn pair these are the pair we can use but is it possible that um, any uh, means uh, whatever requirement it can be 8 1tb it can be 16gb it can be 256 gb that much register you can install in your computer no that is not possible because register capacity is depending on processor only and register cost is very high also and that's why register is limited and as per the cost if you are thinking then register cost is very high and speed is also very high but your cache memory that is depend it can be changed some somehow little bit uh means if we if you want like that 256 or uh, uh, 5 512 that is also you can extend the cache because it's depending on little bit user choice also we can go for it and secondary memory to definitely we can extend that's why 
here how the computer organization managing it secondary memory after that primary primary memory in between primary memory and cpu there will be the cache so whenever cpu wants to execute something that is coming to from secondary memory it is coming to main memory and this process is called what secondary memory now we are going to operating system actually secondary memory is divided means in secondary memory there is a program it is a 100 line program that 100 line program we are dividing into 10 lines that is called pages so these are called pages only process wise we are dividing some pages now the page will be where the page will go definitely cpu will not execute it from the secondary memory so that's why from secondary memory some of the pages as per the availability of main memory main memory can be how much nowadays it is 16 gb 32 gb not more than that and so main memory is allocating each and every process so that's why how whatever availability may be out of 100 pages at a time we can take 10 pages to main memory and this process is called paging here the paging is going on some of the pages you are taking from secondary memory secondary memory to main memory and whatever the slot slot of the main memory and page size and frame size will be always same because you are taking that right it is just like a xerox copy so you are taking it from secondary memory to main memory and that's why it is called but that's why it is same page size and your frame size now after that what is going on so here the cache mapping is required from main memory to cache you are trying to take some pages so there the cache mapping is required for that also whenever you are storing into cache in which area you are storing because if you don't know where is that frame where you locate that frame that's why here are different types of cache mapping technique are there and mainly we are working with the hashing concept here. Here we are doing the mod operation as per the cache line number like that. Maybe think like that in your cache there are 10 slots are available. So we will do the mod operation for direct cache mapping. We are doing the mod operation and as per the mod operation if like that maybe your line number is 112. One, 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 so we will divide by 10 and 2 is your remainder so in the cache line 2 this 112 number uh, line will be placed there are other uh, cache mapping technique also that is set associative mapping associative mapping in associative mapping set associative mapping instead of dividing by line we are dividing by set part set there are how many lines from here numericals are coming right so you can ask yourself am i able to remember that how many cache mapping was there how the set associative mapping and mapping was working so actually in set associative mapping the number of set if it is equals to the number of line then what will happen means in the number of set there are part set there is one line only so it will be work as a direct map right and if in part set there are total number of line are same then how it is working so these are the things you need to remember right how it is working Achha, now the operating system um, computer architecture some of the things we remember now let's go to software engineering in software engineering what are the part we can recall there are how many models in SDLC there is which one is first model? Waterfall model, right? Waterfall model is there. After that, next model, prototype model. Then next model is, next model is spider model. After that, iterative model, incremental model, then agile model. Other than that, there is rad model also, v model also. So how they are working? What was the main focus? Recall it. Recall it here. All the housework will be done and with that your software engineering will be also done.
what are one morning what was the problem problem was that if you are going from one phase to another phase in every phase it should be complete fast right requirement will be complete then only you can go to design phase after that design will be complete then only you can go to development phase after development only you can go to go to test phase next you can go to uh, testing phase after testing you can go to maintenance there is no chance of backtracking there is no chance of that if something is missing you can change it and that is a big big problem of waterfall model and that's why nowadays everybody is not using that much waterfall model only the students and all that are using it others are not using it. after that prototype model came right so what is the advantage of prototype model advantage of prototype model is that when customer is not able to uh, means customer is not clear about the requirement customer not able to explain you the requirement what is exact requirement but uh, he want actually so then we are going for prototype model right and after that spiral model what is the exact importance of spiral model in all other model actually the risk factor was not there means they did not take care of the risk factor but spiral model is taking care of risk factor also that is the main advantage of spiral model in each and every phase it is taking care of risk factor and it is actually the combination of waterfall prototype and with that the risk factor is also there so many times question are coming from here in spiral model which is taking care of risk that is spiral model only so after that what is the difference between incremental and iterative model incremental and iterative model main difference is that increment means how the increment is going on that is if there is total uh, whatever work you are doing is in a project there are maybe 10 functionality so incremental model is dividing it like that in first increment i will do two functionality we will deliver it to the customer after that we will do the next two functionality we will deliver it to customer like that way they will divide it into five increments and each and every increment it is doing complete functionality if it is doing first one and second one so completely it will be done after that it will add the next functionality but in iterative how it is going on iterative is going on like that if there are 10 functionality first phase it will do 10 percent of each and every functionality after that next 10 percent in next phase after that next 10 percent in next phase it will be more clear just think like that there are 10 unit in our syllabus right so if you are preparing like that i will do unit wise unit 1 and unit 2 i will complete then unit 3 unit 4 completely all the unit we will cover then after that i will go for next unit this is incremental model if you are thinking no i will start like that topic wise in each and every unit i will do some easy units easy topic from each and every unit all the 10 unit i will do 10 percent all the easy area after that next time i will do little bit moderate area of all the unit then I will go for the difficult area. Like this way, whenever you are preparing, then this is called increment. So, increment and iterative, this is the difference. I hope the difference is clear, right? So, agile is what? Agile is the combination of incremental model and iterative model. And here, it is focusing on human being, process, not the process it's focus on the project developer and in agile it is divided into some small small parts that are called sprint each and every sprint will be maximum three weeks not more than that and every day daily planner will be there sprint backlog will be there and everyone will take the part of that decision it's not like that it is coming from top down approach like manager will tell that yes this is our target we need to do it here 
all the developer in a meeting they will take the decision yes what we are going to deliver in this print how we how this project will be done how we will do the process so everything in that way it's going on right so there are some framework also like scrum now it is scrum training everywhere is going on so scrum is giving that framework of an agile philosophy so that is the agile model after that here main thing is they are in maintenance so there are four types of maintenance in software that is we can do also revision so what are the different types of maintenance corrective adaptive and and another one tell me tell me in the comment section where it's what is corrective corrective means when we are focusing on bug bug fixing that is called the corrective maintenance right what is adaptive maintenance in adaptive maintenance it is actually from one and environment to another environment it is focusing on environment actually so that the software can run on the new and environment also that is adaptive maintenance so what is perfective maintenance perfective maintenance means it is adding some new feature means you want to be perfect always so you will update always yourself uh, creating some new feature adding some new feature that is coming under perfective maintenance what is preventive maintenance prevention is always better right so for in future there can be some problem for that when you are taking now now only you are taking uh, that measure so that there will be no problem preventing all the problems like some wire and tear is there so you are taking care of that now it is not creating problem but in future maybe it will create problem that's why you are taking care of it and that is called the preventive maintenance so in future maybe if you are not focusing on your study if you are wasting your time like that ki yes i am doing household work that's why i don't have time and i cannot study it is not like that any time you can study any time you can do your revision any time you can do recall right now i am talking but whenever you are thinking at the time of cleaning anything or at the time of doing kitchen work or any type of physical work then definitely you can ask yourself am i able to recall the concept that is also revision revision means not like that you always you have to go to your study room you have to open your notebook then only revision can be done revision throughout the syllabus revision can be done also in 10 minute like that see that this video is only how much i am talking 15 minute in 15 minute how many things i told so in that way do the mind mapping try to recall am i able to recall or not and don't talk too much just do your work and ask yourself am i able to recall everything if you are doing in that way then definitely your lots of revision will be done in a small time and you can see yes my maximum utensils is already cleaned now i will just wash it so you can also do it right so let's try